I want to share with you some tips, tricks. I'm gonna press G and I have this light selected. If I hide this light, you will notice here it's much darker and you can add a light to make it nicer. But usually this light, by default, if you add that light and if you search channel, it's enabled on channel zero. Maybe you don't want that on all of these assets. I just want to make the floor lighter. So I would make that light on channel one. I would select the floor. I also enable channel one on it. So without channel one, with channel one. One other thing, you noticed how I hide this light. I made multiple tutorials about this. So if you already watched this, you can skip ahead. When you right click any asset and go to transform, sorry, you go to visibility, you can see hide selected, show only selected and show all actors. You may have different shortcuts. These are my own shortcuts. And to set shortcuts, I actually recommend setting the same layout here. You can go to edit, editor preferences, make this larger and search for example, hide selected. It will show you general keyboard shortcuts, hide selected in the level editor, you can set a shortcut for this. Show only selected, H and so on. So sometimes I want to show only this item and isolate everything. Press Alt 2 to switch to wireframe. Hold Alt and left mouse button to orbit, right mouse button to orbit around, sorry, to zoom in and out. Control H to bring back everything. So maybe sometimes you just want to hide this from the view. I would press Shift H, the same for these lights. Control H to bring back everything. One of my other favorite shortcuts that I also made is called paste here. So usually, if you want to duplicate an asset, you would like hold Alt, then move that asset. I want to move it to the top. That's a problem. So press Ctrl Z, select the asset again. You know, it's a pain. You want to move this. Now you may just press End maybe if it works, if there is a collision and move it. One other thing you can do is when you click an asset and you press Ctrl C, then right click, go to transform, sorry, edit, we're gonna see paste here. And by default, it does not have a shortcut. The shortcut I put for it is Shift V. So I simply select this point and press Shift V. Select this point, Shift V. Select this point, Shift V, and so on. One other thing you may have noticed, so this is us transitioning to the other tip, multiple post-process volumes. So if you have multiple post-process volumes and you have one for the global, so if I can change this and I go inside, it will affect or it will change. If I go outside, this will happen. You can have as many as you want. What you want to change, in this case, let's say this is the global, infinite and bound is on top, it's enabled. And here is another tip we can discuss. But if you go all the way down, on your other post-process volumes, the interior ones, for example, here I have some post-process volumes for the front yard. It should not be infinite. That's one. It should cover the bounds you want it to, it to cover. And then you can switch the priority. So if I select the global one and set the priority to higher than the number one here, it will take over. If I set it back to zero or 0.5, it will not affect it. Moving to the next step, <laughs> moving to the next tip, I want to show you something I do frequently. So when I'm working on a project, I like to capture cinematics every couple of days or every day or whatever. And right now I am capturing cinematics. So let's go back here. What you want to do is the following. Ideally, you want to create your cinematic sequences from here. Add a level sequence with shots. You can increase the number of the shots, you can increase their duration, you can select a template to duplicate, and that's very important. And after you do all of that, you would end up with a folder in the cinematics folder called sequences or whatever you want to call. Here, for example, I have Maple 18. You will have the master sequence that creates all the shots you have here, and then you will have under each shot, usually one shot, but sometimes for me, I like to make take a shot and duplicate it around the same place and give it like variance. So it's up to you. Now, to render these, you can simply go to the window, Cinematics, Movie Render Queue, and then add a render. Select your first shot that you want to render, let's say for any reason this shot. Then under settings, the reason you want to select a shot first, because if you select multiple shots, like this and you want to change the settings of these shots you want you will do that individually so now i will select here settings and co unsaved configuration we don't want that click on it to set your configuration or once you set your configuration you can save it then load it later in my case i have this i can load this 
the TTS import and I can click on accept and now I don't want to do this for every single shot I have here that's why you do it at least for one shot and let's delete that just for reference once again it will retain the last settings you had now when I click control space if I want to go select these put them here then press control space again then select this folder and do that over and over that's pain what you want to do just simply select all these folders hold shift select this folder then press on this folder it will select these folders and everything inside them will show and that's true for any multiple folders you select in unreal engine for example if you yeah i'm gonna stop there you can try it on your own press ctrl a select this and then hit render and that makes it so much easier for you to render every day of course if you save this as a queue call it daily render or call it weep work in progress and at any time when you close this and open it again let's say you don't have your shots and you you open this yesterday tomorrow the engine crashed whatever you can always load multiple queues of work and then render so i'm gonna stop the video here leave a like if you like this subscribe if you're new here and let me know if you want more videos like this and i will see you soon